Alright, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 72. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation over here. So I have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 72. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite 4 to the power of x as 2 squared to the power of x. So all I did was I rewrite, rewrote 4 as 2 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of x plus 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 72. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 times x, or 2 to the power of 2x. So this is equal to 72. And now, we're going to actually reverse this property. So if a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, this means that I can also rewrite this as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. So I took 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x and rewrote this as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. So this means that a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So now from here, I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable t. So now I can substitute in t for 2 to the power of x and I get t plus t squared is equal to 72. So that's the reason why I wrote this as 2 to the power of x. So now I have two of the same variable. And now I'm going to subtract 72 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. And I get t squared plus t minus 72 is equal to 0. Now, what we're going to want to do is factor this out, because we want to find the value of t. So to factor this out, I can do this in two ways. I can, the first method is using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 1, and c is negative 72. So I get t is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 72, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 288 over 2 which is equal to t, or sorry, which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 289 over 2. And 289 is equal to 17. The square root of 289 is equal to 17. So I get t is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 17 over 2. So this gives me negative 1 plus 17 over 2 and negative 1 minus 17 over 2. Negative 1 plus 17 over 2 is equal to 16 over 2, which is equal to 8. Negative 1 minus 17 over 2 is equal to negative 18 over 2, which is equal to negative 9. So I get 8 and negative 9, meaning these two are my solutions. Now another method of solving this, the second method, I'm going to rewrite this, t squared plus t minus 70 plus t minus 72 is equal to 0. Well, we can do the box method. So the box method is, the, we have to find two numbers with a product of a times c and a sum of b. So a in this case is 1 and c is negative 72. So the product 
is equal to negative 72, and the sum has to equal 1. Well, the only two numbers that work for that are negative 9 and 8, because negative 9 times 8 is negative 72, and negative 9 plus 8 is, sorry, it's actually supposed to be, the sum is supposed to be negative 1. So negative 9 plus 8 is equal to negative 1. So, now that I know that 8 and negative 9 work, we can go back over here, and we have 2 to the power of x equals 2. So that means I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 8, and 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 9. Well, 2 to the power of x equals negative 9, that wouldn't work. So 2 to the power of x is only correct equation, and that means that x equals 3.